Hi, I'm Elise Hazeltine, director of the 12 Books program here at Macy United Way. Um, and 12 Books is a children's literacy initiative. We specifically focus on kids in kindergarten through third grade um, because of the statistics around reading on grade level by fourth grade. Um, so we know that kids who aren't reading at grade level by that age um, are more likely to drop out of high school, um, which makes them more likely to experience things like homelessness, incarceration, um, and continued cycle of poverty as an adult. Um, we also know that statistically, two-thirds of kids who aren't reading at grade level by fourth grade um, end up in jail or on welfare. Uh, nationwide, only about 30% of fourth graders are proficient in reading, um, and that disproportionately affects kids from low-income homes. So in Mesa, that's a huge issue because of the amount of families living in poverty that we have um, in the schools here. The majority of the elementary schools in Mesa are Title I, which means that they have high percentages of kids in poverty. And when we look at their, the reading scores, there's a strong correlation there. So schools that have a higher percentage of kids in poverty end up having lower reading scores. Um, so that is where our focus is. Our mission is really to break that cycle of poverty for kids through education, and literacy is key to that. Hi, I'm Holly Justison. I'm the Title I School Improvement Specialist here at Guerrero Elementary School in Mesa. You know, one of there's so much research that goes into saying that so much happens in those first five years of a child's life, and so many of those pieces on building that rhyming, their phonological awareness, um, you know, being able to hear the sounds, being here, being able to, you know, hear how sentences are put together and how they flow. Those things are, you know, developed before the kids get to school, um, or can be developed before kids get to school. However, if students don't have that um, home environment that's filled with books and that literate environment, you know, they come to school and not only not knowing their letters or their sounds, but then also just not knowing how language flows, how it's put together. If they don't have those pre-skills, it really um, makes learning to read even more difficult. So when we look at studies done over the past uh, three decades, we see that some of the major factors in kids' literacy development are things that happen at home. Um, so access to books, um, adults reading to kids from birth through the school years, and adults um, being at home to provide support when kids are in school. So we have three parts to our program to try to address these needs. The first part is uh, how the program started. Um, so we do book distributions where we go to the schools, we do a free book fair, and kids come through, kids in kinder through third grade, come through and they get to pick three to four books to take home um, to build their home libraries and to try to pique their interest in reading and create some excitement around that. The second part of our program, we started over COVID um, and are expanding into the schools this year. And so that part is our virtual reading program where we're having volunteers read with kids twice a week for 30 minutes. Um, and they're providing independent reading support. They're reading aloud to kids to provide that vocabulary support, um, really trying to fill that gap um, for kids who aren't read to at home. Um, we've seen a lot of success with that, so we're hoping to serve even more kids through that program this year. And then the third piece that we find necessary is supporting the families so that they can provide that support to their kids at home. Um, so that might be through uh, family literacy workshops, um, it might be through distributing uh, resources and books to those families um, and making sure that we are, are making parents aware of the importance of reading with their kids at home. Um, so those are the three parts that we find necessary to address. Um, we rely heavily on um, financial donations, on volunteers. We really can't do our work without them. Um, and so ways to support us would be financial donations, um, book donations, and volunteering. You know what, there is nothing like seeing a student picking up a brand new book and they always ask, do I get to keep this? Um, and it's just pure joy on seeing and being able to have those books as like that, I don't have to give this back. Being able to put into a library that you can create for yourself at home. And that we always say that, you know, reading a book once, well, that's not what books were meant for. They're rereading them over and over and over again. 
our students having that opportunity to come in here and it's kind of like going to um, a bookstore where they're going and being able to choose those books but then money is not an object for them they like they don't have to worry about having to pay for that as they leave you know with these brand new books